Hey, just want to continue our discussion today in Genesis 31 about Laban and Jacob and their encounter in the hill country before he crossed the Jordan River. So um, Jacob answers the question of why did you leave secretly? He says, verse 31, I rushed away because I was afraid, Jacob answered. I thought you would take your daughters from me by force. I think so too. I think he would have attempted it. I don't think God would have allowed it. And I think that's a big difference right there. Uh, I think here Jacob didn't trust God as he should have because, as I said a few days ago, I read a commentary that said Jacob could have marched out of there like an army going to war with banners flying. But he didn't. Jacob was afraid. Jacob here let his fear of a man overwhelm his trust in God. And I think we, we all kind of can fall into that from time to time where we let fear overwhelm us. And I don't think we should do that. You know, I think we should trust God uh, with whatever's happening in our lives, with whatever we're dealing with. At the end of the day, to trust God, to not let fear overcome. But I, I, it's such a natural human instinct to worry, to fear, to have this anxiety. But it's not of God. It's of our, it's of our sin nature to do this. So in your life, when you're running into those difficult moments, don't let fear overcome you. But let the trust in God overcome you because the Bible tells us clearly that God has plans for us. He, he, he's good to us. And even if God is going to take us through a valley time, through a difficult time in our lives, God's walking with us and there's a purpose behind those things. So it helps us to focus back on that. And Jacob struggled with that here because I think Laban in his heart would have done these things. But God intervened and said, no, sir, we're not going down this road. Verse 32, he says, But as for your gods, see if you can find them, and let the person who has taken them die. And if you find anything else that belongs to you, identify it before all these relatives of ours, and I will give it back to you. But Jacob did not know that Rachel had stolen the household items. So Jacob didn't know that his beloved wife, the wife he loved, Rachel, had taken these. She had hidden them. She wouldn't, she wouldn't tell anybody. And like we said previously, we don't exactly know why she did this. We, we don't get a, a perfect uh, explanation. I would like that, but we don't. There's been some different ideas, but, you know, it is what it is. And so Jacob has no idea here that he's actually invited judgment on his own wife because of how he's acted and what he's doing and saying. And we'll see the results of all of this another time. You guys have a great day. We'll see you soon.